Hello, Jesse Chappis here from the Ultimate Health Podcast with Marnie Wasserman, and we have a very special guest today, Patricia Bragg. We are at the CHFA show in Toronto, and we just ran into Patricia and decided that uh, we'd do a little impromptu recording and just hear a little bit of her story, and we want to get her on a full-length show down the line, though. This is just a little, little teaser. And most of you guys know Bragg from Bragg's Aminos and Apple Cider Vinegar. But now we're going to hand it over to Patricia and ask you your story, just a little bio. We've only got a few minutes, but we want to just kind of hear from you. Oh, my golly. Marnie and Jesse, it's so nice to meet you both. What a handsome couple. So <laughs> Thank handsome. You. Gorgeous. Well, you're looking beautiful, and, too, and, and lively. And gorgeous teeth, you Thank have. you. <laughs> Well, my father, Paul Bragg, was the originator of health food stores in 1912. And you know, he's the Bragg Healthy Lifestyle is this. You are what you eat and drink and breathe and think and say and do. What you eat and drink walks and talks tomorrow. Just think of that food as fuel. So before you put it in your mouth, goes down to your stomach, say, is this going to bring me health or sickness? You see... White bread, the whiter the bread, the sooner you're dead. <laughs> yes, and if you overfuel your body, the bigger the waistline, the shorter the lifespan. Think about that. Well, we couldn't agree more with all of this you're saying. This is, this is our philosophy here, Marnie and I, where everything we're doing, like you said, today is for a better tomorrow. Quality of life, everything that we put in our body and mind is going to affect our outcome. And you're a living example. Look at you. You're glowing and sparkling and wearing all pink and flowers, and you're beautiful. Well, I feel 18, even though I've been living over eight decades. Wow. Think of that. Your and, energy is unbelievable yeah, and, and, as well. And I, 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 I believe that every day is a gift, and that's why it's called the present. That's you wonderful. See? Yes. And so, therefore, you are what you eat, what you drink, and next is what you breathe. We're oxygen. Oh, the invisible staff alive. I teach people to breathe deep. I have the Beach Boys, Katy Perry, Carrie Underwood. I have a lot of the top singers, the Metropolitan Opera. And I teach them breathe, breathe in, 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 then slowly out, 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 out. Most people are shallow breathers. And you know, when you're running to catch a train or a plane, and my God, you get that stitch in your side. That is the unused portion of the lungs that the air is when you're running and running, going down there, opening up those unused areas of your lungs. So we have a book called Super Power Breathing. And we teach people to breathe in, 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 and then let it all out slowly, out, 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 and in, 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 do this. And I train triathletes, champions. I have Dave Scott, won eight, guess what, Kona triathlons. It's called the Ironman triathlon. Wow, that's the big one. That is 112 grueling miles. And my father was the original triathlete. Swim, bike, run. Wow, and, I didn't know that. So yes. say somebody, they realize they're not breathing to their full potential. How would they go about starting to incorporate this deeper breath? Is it something they take 10 minutes a day to practice or no. how do they do it? Actually, it's something that you start the day with and you end up the day with. In other words, let all the old air out and put your head down below your heart, let it out, 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 and then breathe in, 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 and put your hands up to the sky and breathe in and feel your lungs just fill up and then let it all out. And what you're doing, you're cleansing your lungs by letting it all out, and then you're bringing the fresh air in. Whatever you do, no smoking, and you don't want to be around any secondhand smoke. Don't allow people to smoke in your home. And also, if you are in smog or bad air in an office, buy a little tiny pure air purifier and have it in your office, you see? And also have some hanging plants because the green leaves, they purify the air for you. That's why I live, every place I live, in Australia, Hawaii, and Santa Barbara, California, I have trees and plants and 
flowers, and they're keeping the air clean and pure for me. You are what you eat, drink, breathe. Now let's go into Think Think. Woo! I've got a computer, my brain. Oh my golly, garbage in, garbage out. I don't watch murder mysteries on TV or war scenes. No, I, I want to inspiring things. History Channel, The Animal Channel, Walt Disney Channel. Do you see things of interest? History. To see about the world all over the world. Okay. Remember, God gave you a brain. If you don't use it, you lose it. That's why so many people get senile. They forget to learn something new every day before you put your head on the pillow. You are what you eat, drink, breathe, think, and next is say, woo! Wow. You yes, words are living. You've just given us so much in five minutes. This was amazing. Well, let me tell you something. Before you speak, is it good? Is it kind? Is it necessary? You can ruin a marriage, get in a fight with your mate or one of your children. I had a friend of mine just got a, her husband got in a fight with her, the boss and said some ugly words, and he was fired after 18 years. And the boss said, you have humiliated me in front of my staff. I can't put up with it. He's gone. But so before you speak, is it good, is it kind, is it necessary? And next is what you do with your life physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And, and financially nowadays, because we're coming in some tough times, mm -hmm. you see, tough times. So be very frugal. Remember, but never tell your stomach you're poor. Because if necessary, I want you to have a survival garden. And guess what? During the Big Depression, 1929, when I was born, guess what? My father started Penny Restaurants in New York City. He had eight of them. You could eat all you wanted, vegetarian, cafeteria style, from 6 in the morning till 8 at night. Cafeteria stuff, and you, it, there was a little box at the entrance, and if you didn't have a penny, guess what? You could still go in. Penny restaurants. And that is it. Who's going to do it these days? It was all health. Mm -hmm. All health. Mm -hmm. My father, Paul Bragg, was the originator of health food stores. 1912. He said, your health is your wealth. And so remember, the whiter the bread, the sooner you're dead. I have all my teeth. You have beautiful teeth. Thank right. you. <laughs> and Jesse, you have beautiful teeth. Thank you. I appreciate and that. So, but just remember, plan, plot, and follow through with your life. And set your goals and go for them. Remember, you are what you eat, drink, breathe, think, say, and do with your life. God bless you. And God bless all your wonderful followers. And I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Yeah, one way just to end it here. What, like, I mean, looking at you, you're sitting right across from me. You have this wonderful energy, beautiful. What, what would your one secret be to people that has kept you so vibrant all these years? Well, my dear, I love the Lord Jesus. He walks with me and he talks with me. He shows me right from wrong. And I eat healthy, simple, natural foods. Go organic. Don't panic. I don't eat white bread. I don't, never smoke. I don't do anything that would endanger my miracle body. God gave me this body. I'm five feet tall, weigh about 95 pounds. I'm a miniature. A miniature. And, that's, and I have a lot of energy. I, you, I'll show you my triathlon training manual book. I've trained top triathletes all over the world. Wow. Dave, Dave Scott won eight triathlon Kona Ironmans. And you know, I love, I love being a service. I've been nutritionist to Clint Eastwood 60 years. I have Katy Perry since she was eight. I have Madonna. Oh, I have the Beach Boys for 40 years. Tom Hanks, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck for about 45 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I kept J.C. Penny going strong. Conrad Hilton, the hotel man, strong. Well, I love it. Yeah, I can see that. And there's no doubt that you and your whole brand, everything Bragg stands for, has been such a catalyst in this health world. And we thank you. 
So Patricia, thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was and a pleasure. Have a yes. great day. Thank you.